Hello, my most amazing artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very cool mandala design that shows radial symmetry using only coffee filters, washable markers, and water. Now let's talk about symmetry. When something is symmetrical, that means it's the same on both sides. So if I was to fold something in half, it would match up perfectly. Now radial symmetry is very similar, except for instead of just being um, symmetrical if you fold it in in half, it would be symmetrical if I folded it in half horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. It means that shapes, lines, and colors are radiating from the center. So we're going to kind of experiment with that concept today and make a radial design type of mandala using those materials I stated before. So what we're going to need is some coffee filters. Um, you will need washable markers. I'm going to use Crayola. Some water and then something to put the water on with. So I'll be using a paintbrush. You're also going to want some type of messy mat to go underneath your coffee filter. So whether that's newspaper, a tablecloth, a piece of copy paper, something to go underneath because these are going to get very wet and they're going to make a very big mess. And they're going to be kind of floppy until they're dry, so you might want to lift them with the messy mat to put them somewhere to dry. And what's kind of cool if you use copy paper or any paper underneath it is when you pull back your coffee filter, this is kind of the mess it's going to leave behind because a lot of that water is going to soak through and color is going to soak through. So this makes almost another really cool art project. You could use this to draw on top of. You could cut it up for a collage. You could be creative with that. You could fold it up into some origami even. All right, so let's get started on making one of these radial symmetry designs. So I have my copy paper down. I'm going to use a coffee filter. You want to make sure that you peel it apart so you only have one. We want this to be kind of thin. And I'm going to kind of flatten out my coffee filter like this. And the first thing I want to do is I want to fold it in half. So I'm going to take it and fold it in half to create a semicircle, just like this. Once I have my semicircle, I'm going to fold it in half another time. So this time I'm going to fold it vertically and I'm going to kind of match it up. I want these flat edge to match up the best I can and fold it. So now I have kind of a half of a semicircle. Now I'm going to fold this in half one more time. I'm going to fold from this top corner here down to this bottom corner so that this flat side is going to match up with this flat side. All right, that's our final fold. So now I have a little bit of a triangular shape. I have a kind of triangle shape. It has a little bit of a curved top. It looks like an ice cream cone almost. This is where you can start to experiment with different types of shapes and colors and designs. There is no wrong way to do this. So you can use whatever shapes, whatever colors you want. I do say that the more color you add, the better the results you will get. So I'm going to go with kind of a rainbow color. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing the rainbow order, Roy G. Biv. I'm going to start with red. And I'm going to do a couple of strokes with my red. We're only coloring one side of our coffee filter, so I'm not coloring the back or the inside pieces. We're just coloring the top. Now I'm going to do stripes, but if you wanted to, you could do um, polka dots, you could do zigzags, you could do um, almost like decorating an Easter egg. It's really up to you. Okay, so once I have one full side decorated with marker and I've covered up most of the white spots, I can add my water now. So I want to get this pretty wet, so I'm going to dip my paintbrush in my water. And I'm going to add water on top. And I'm using quite a bit of water. I want it to really get flat. The more water that goes onto this, the more your colors are going to soak through to get that radial symmetry. But you don't want to be like drowning this in water. You don't need to dump water on it. 
but you want to get it so that it's really nice and flat. And you'll notice that I'm doing my brush strokes in the same direction as my lines are going so that they aren't mixing up too much. And you can even see some of the color has been carried out with my strokes. Once I've got it pretty wet with water, I'm just going to pause for a minute and let it soak for about a minute. So I'm going to let this soak and then we'll unveil it to see if our radial symmetry worked. Okay, so I've let this soak for about a minute. The reason you want to let it soak for a little bit before you unfold it is so that all that color can kind of soak through all the layers of the coffee filter. So now let's unfold it and see what happens. Now this is still a little damp, so you have to be a little bit gentle with it so you don't um, rip it. But when you unfold it, that design that was on the top of our little triangle slice should soak through to all sides of our um, coffee filter to create a radial symmetry design. Now I'll pull this off so you can see kind of the mess that it made. Let's put it on a fresh sheet of paper so we can we'll look at it soaked through a couple of them so that we can really see what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Now again, you can do this with any other types of designs. This one I did more polka dots. Some of them I did more stripey or zigzaggy designs. But there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this. They might look really cool to put it put inside of your window to have the light shine through, almost like stained glass. Or you could fold them up to make some flowers or something really fun like that. Have fun! Goodbye, my most amazing artist.